Well, boys, today is tomorrow, and today is a lesson in if you ain't got any money, then don't do anything funny, because there ain't no one laughing. Now, this phenomenon comes to you by Coyote Mar. He is a car enthusiast channel and a uh, street race channel, all right? They, they don't street race in the USA, all right? They street race in Mexico, <laughs> where the lives are cheaper, all right? You can buy your way out of a street race over there. You can't do it over here all that much, or at all, actually. But yeah, Coyote Mar has been making some car content, some street racing content, and the other day, well, five days ago, he put out his best video, his magnum opus at that. Huge fight! FBO C7Z06 versus Whipple 10 Speed Mustang. Uncensored, uncut raw, unfiltered and unpasteurized. This is straight up raw milk right here. I haven't seen a title of this enticing since MTV days. So this whole thing ends in a, obviously the title of Coyote's video already spoiled it. A huge fight, all right, well not a huge fight. It ended in a fight. <laughs> But we'll get to that, all right, boys? We don't want to, you know, we don't want to push it too fast. So first off, we start off with how the street race was going to start, all right? There was one guy in a Corvette and another guy in a Mustang. And the guy in the Corvette, he seemed pretty chill, all right? The guy in the Corvette was like, hey, man, I'm here to street race. We're going to get some money together, and we're going to, you know, street race for the money, all right? And the guy in the Mustang kind of seemed like, for some reason, he was regretting his decision to even like race at all and instead of him walking away or like driving away i guess <laughs> uh he decided you know what we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna still go through with this i see the new sticker on there blow that sticker off what are we doing yeah <laughs> You can already see the Marshmallow Man is out of his element, all right? This man is nervously throwing his keys back and forth. It's like, I can't believe I'm even here. How did I even get here? I don't even know what <laughs> highway I took here. I just, ended, I just teleported here. This man said, all right, man, we're going to street race. What, 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 what do you want to do? What, what, what do you want to do? We're in the street race. And he's like, I don't know, man. He's like, come on, man. 60 to 160, which means they start at 60. And they end at 160. So as soon as you hit 60, they're going to go. And as soon as they hit 160, they're going to stop. But you can see this guy is nervous, all right? He's already, like, shaking, trembling in his boots, throwing the keys back and forth. Like, man, I don't even want to hit 150. I ain't even go 60 down the highway to get here. <laughs> That's why I'm late. But for some reason, like a girl in the club that doesn't want to say no to a guy asking for a number. For some reason, this guy doesn't just sit there and be like, you know what, man? I'm sorry for wasting time. Let's get out of here, man. I, I don't want to do this. I realize I am not built for this, literally. But obviously, the person, I don't even know how old any of these people are. The guy in the green sweatshirt probably is like 30. The kid in the Mustang probably is driving his dad Mustang. All right, let's all be honest here. He's probably like maybe 25. And for some reason, this guy is getting peer pressure into doing an an illegal street race let's call it what it is even if you're in mexico i'm pretty sure street racing is also illegal <laughs> he's getting peer pressured into an illegal street race with an amount of money that he obviously can't cough up but this awkward interaction continues I'm close to I posted, I posted 6150. I can boom my Z06 here. No, bro. I'm saying, like, I posted 6150. Of course, it is. I saw you call me out with your other than that shit. We got a quarter. Crazy. Y'all got a quarter? You called me. You got a quarter? Quarter? So after the Mustang guy started making his excuses and saying, oh, man, I can't go over 150, like, man, like, like my, my car might explode. It ain't built to do 150, especially with me in it. It's going to be leaning. Instead of the Corvette guy, the guy in the green sweatshirt saying, you know what, bro? If you're nervous, let's not even do this. Instead of that, the man is the guy pressuring the girl in the club to give him her number. <laughs> he is like, yo. If we're already here, let's do this. We're, we're already here, let's do this. Yo, how about we do this? We're going to flip on it. If it flips on my side, which is heads, I'm pretty sure he calls both times. If it flips on head, we're going to do 160. If it flips on tail, we're going to do whatever you want to do, all right? And instead of the guy walking away, be like, you know what, man? I can't do this. I can't do this. And the other guy being like, how about I not peer pressure a obviously 
<laughs> extremely anxious person into doing something they don't want to do. He was like, no, we're going to do this. All right, let's, let's get the quarter. He's looking around for a quarter, which in 2024, I'm surprised they won't even had one. Usually companies try to take that out of your pocket, too. They're like, hey, man, what, you got a quarter? I can, I can take that. What, you want two minutes of Spotify? Sure, two minutes of Spotify. But don't worry, boys. The quest for the quarter has been completed. All right, he found the quarter. Yeah, uh. <laughs> this is that bullshit yeah, the other day. I got heads. I was like, 160, bro, bro. Yes, sir. All right, that was fair of you. Uh, what? You count? I'm not, I don't want to count. Yeah, I know you're sick, so. Yeah. Oh, shit, my fault. I just want to think out. When it done? Uh, what do you want to do? I got so like trying to set up a Mario Kart race for you and your friends, you got to figure out, yo boys, how fast are we going to go? 200 CC? All right, we're going 200 CC. Now, how many laps are we going to do? So this guy in the green sweatshirt shirt was like, hey man, I'm just trying to go back home with the money. All right, we're going to do a one and done. Obviously, Marshmallow Man ain't feeling that because I'm pretty sure he thought in his head like, hey man, I'm probably gonna lose the first lap. So he wants to do a second lap, all right? He wants to go two times. He doesn't want to do one and done. He wants to go two times, which in my head, I'm like, brother, you should go once, all right? This is already a bad idea. You're already shaking your boots. Mom's spaghetti on your sweater already. I mean, like, my guy, <laughs> this life is not for you. You should take the one and done and be like, you know what? I already know I'm gonna lose both times. So go ahead. But this man is adamant about he wants to at least get two laps in all right so they decided you know what they were fair the first time he flipped they doing 160 they won't doing 160 no questions all right so now he wants to flip it again to see how many laps they're gonna do and i'm gonna be honest here this man got so unlucky he should have just gave up the money right then and there he should have been like you know what brother go ahead and take the money no go ahead and take it no i don't even i ain't even gonna race for it because this man has to have the worst luck ever to have this happen to him. So I got one spin. I got one spin. Same goes for you. Look at that thing. Hell no. Nah, no. Nah, I wanted to. Come on, I was just fair with you. I'm going to give you a higher flipper. That's fair. What you call it? Nah, you call it this time. You call it this time. Go. Go, my boy. Ready? That's. Oh, get it, baby. It's cooked on the core. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got cooked. Wait, what, what was that for again? So, no, uh, no one and done. One and done. Yeah. Uh. So, boys, we got the rules no items, one and done, 160cc. <laughs> so, first off, they had to collect the money. And obviously, just off rip, trying to collect over a thousand dollars from anyone in a Mustang. Let's all be honest here. If you're driving a Mustang, you probably don't have that much money in general. <laughs> so trying to get this man to pay up any amount of money for the street race so they can start it was already a headache. In the start, it was supposed to be a 5K bet, right? They both put down 5K and then, you know, they will race for it. But then this man said, no, I was joking, man. No, it's going to be a 2K bet. The guy was like, all right, 2K bet. And guess how much this man came back with? All right, he went off, he got the money, and guess how much he came back with? Is that ready? Um, we're still collecting, honestly. He collected, you want to let him collect a little bit? He collected, he he collected 1,400 bucks, so. <laughs> we heard 2K. Here. I told you we had 14, but we were gonna try to get it to 2 No, we'll try to get it to 2 This is crazy work. Crazy, What's the pot now? Man, fourteen hundred aside. Fourteen hundred aside. Because of them. Them. I'm just about to have a band. I even go down to twelve hundred. It's only at fifteen hundred. We can't even eat no more. I don't know why this guy returned to the scene of the crime, knowing that he was going to not only return with less money, not only that, he just was anxious. He was nervous the whole time. You should have never came back. I would have left and you would have never seen me again. I would have been a ghost in the night. <laughs> but for some reason, this man, I would say has balls of steel, but he doesn't. All right, let's all be honest here. This man just wants to be cool. He wants to walk around his, <laughs> I guess, college campus, maybe. Uh, saying I I street race I earned fourteen hundred bucks. It was supposed to be five k, but then we lowered it two k. Then I wasn't able to find the two k, so then we lowered it down to fourteen hundred bucks. But so the guy in the green sweatshirt was like, like you know what? I'm already here. Fourteen hundred bucks for like what? Uh, 
five, ten minute street race. All right, let's do it. Screw it. That, that ain't that bad. At the end of the day, you can do something with fourteen hundred bucks. Let's all be honest here. We're not above fourteen hundred bucks in a day. So they do the street race. <laughs> As you guys can see, the Vetti clearly won. The Corvette clearly won. The Corvette smoked him. All right, Mustang was he was he was on the ass. All right, he was on the ass cheeks. He was gripping it. But guess what? The vet was winning the whole time through and through. The vet was winning. Everyone agreed the vet was winning. But something important happened. All right, something really important happened during the street race that uh, was determining the outcome of it. The GoPros froze. Even though everyone saw the Corvette win, everyone saw the Corvette was just leading the whole time. The GoPros froze and they didn't record the 160. Hey, our, our, my car was froze. No, I mean, I just want to see you with 160. They froze. That one did you want, too? To, you want to show the video? That's the record. He took a picture. Remember this shit? Just, can I just see the video of it like frozen? Yeah. I mean, it don't matter. Your shit froze when you raised me last time. I know. <laughs> but no, mine, mine got up top, right? Remember? Eventually. It's frozen and played. Yeah. I don't think ours um, ever played. He's had it in your bag. Oh, man. What's going to do to our GoPro, nigga? Yeah. You say you want to see it like that, though. Yeah. It's me on them. It's me on them. God, that's crazy. Oh, dead homies. You didn't come around though. <laughs> come on. I don't know. So the GoPros froze. So obviously this guy was trying his best to make up any excuse to get out of paying the money. I mean, any excuse. He's like, man, I will pay you right now, this second, this very minute. If I just saw you hit 160, even though I was in the other car, <laughs> hitting 160. So for like an hour, this back and forth went on. Literally them saying, yo, the GoPros froze, your GoPro froze. We hit 160, we both were driving. I'm like, I think we know how fast we both were going. And he's like, no, man, I need to see you hit it on the camera, though. And he's like, brother, the GoPro's froze. What, what do you want us to do? The GoPro's froze. So after Guyton Green sweatshirt was like, he was being chill. Like, don't get me wrong. He was being chill. He's like, bro, I don't know what to tell you. We were both going 160. Obviously, we were driving. We were the ones in the driver's seats. We know how fast we were going. The GoPro's froze. Your GoPro froze. You were supposed to, you know not have a frozen gopro just like how i wasn't both our gopros froze you can't out here lose and then be like no nah, man i would pay you if i saw it and then not also say you won like he didn't even say he won at all the mustang guy didn't even try to make it seem like he won at all because he knew he lost he lost the whole race he lost it but for some reason he's man i would pay you if you won but you know there's no video evidence that you winning like that'd be something that get me pissed off and green sweatshirt was getting pissed off because he's like brother everyone here saw you lose you know you lost. You're not even trying to make like an excuse like, oh no, I won. He's not even trying to say I won at all. He's not even trying to collect any money from Green Sweatshirt guy. He's just like, man, I will pay you if like you had the video evidence of you winning, even though everyone around us is saying you won. I'm not trying to collect any money from you. I'm like, brother, what do you want from me? <laughs> say they ain't got GoPro. I was up the whole race like from start to I'm, I was I was coming up hot. That's the thing. Oh, like, if, if, it was, if it feels like you fucking bust me, then just yeah. because it, I did. No, I was, bro. At the end of the race, I know I was right next to you. You at all? That one sixty. What you I mean? Know, way fucking. Oh my god. I was, bro. I was coming. Up. You're not finna do this when again, bro. Uh, when is he saying? No, I'm not trying to surprise. I wasn't surprised. I mean, you're here, see, man. We're like, cool. Hey, that's good, man. Bro, like, bro, 
I was coming, my car was coming to me. Just go collect, bro. No, I'm telling, bro, I'm just, I just want to see one. The GoPro don't work, man. Your GoPro don't even work. He don't have a GoPro phone for you. So if you want, how is you going to argue this thing? Bro, you didn't have a GoPro. We saw y'all. No, put a GoPro on the car, bro. Like I'm saying, if you won, what would have happened there? I don't know. I would, I would exactly, you don't know? Let me see your GoPro. I'm telling you, bro. I don't know who the fuck got the GoPro. Oh, cool. Now you're now you about to make bro, me mad. So you Go know GoPro, he didn't bro. have the GoPro. He didn't have the GoPro. I don't know who had the GoPro. Just right. pay up, bro. Who took it off your car? I don't know. Give me a break. Hey, Louis, bro, can y'all get, get the money? I just want to see 160. Bro, you know who it is. Come on. Just pay the money, bro. Go, go collect. I'm trying to see 160. I was coming in. I was. I know I was. I was in Did you come around? Yes, I'm telling you. I was coming around. He has it on his camera. <laughs> I know I was around my car, bro. So after a while, uh, Green Sweatshirt got pissed. He got royally pissed. Now, boys, I'm gonna do a little bit of censoring here because we know how YouTube do, and I know you guys love my channel. All right, you guys love me. All right, we gotta do a little bit of censoring here. All right, I'm pretty sure you guys won't have to use too much imagination to see what happened here. But uh, Green Sweatshirt guy was not having it after like dealing with this man saying. You, you, I, I was like neck and neck with you, right? Like we, we, we were neck and neck, and at, at the end, it's like, yeah, I stopped whenever I hit 160. <laughs> like Green Sweatshirt, after a while, he got pissed. Rightfully so. We're talking about good money here. Like 1400 bucks, I like, don't get me wrong, it was supposed to be a 5K. Then it was supposed to be a 2K. Then the man only had 1400 bucks. Still, 1400 bucks, that's not bad, all right? That's not bad for a nice worth of work. This man was ready to go home. He was ready to eat. I feel this man, all right? Now, boys, before we get into this, assault is bad. But if you owe me over a hundred dollars, I'm pretty sure I can find a good reason to hit you in the face. All right, <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone would be like, "Hmm, fourteen hundred? I had to do something with that. That that is not like an insignificant amount of money." And we're talking about real life here, all right, boys? We're not talking about, oh, no, you know, in the court of law, this will be frowned upon. No, we're talking about real life where people actually have to uh, pay bills, you know, that thing. You know, people actually have things they want to buy. Money doesn't come uh, cheap anymore. You know, you don't just get money anymore just for going to work. So they want to scam you. <laughs> the person doing the job, they're like, hey, you did 90 hours of work this week. Mm, here's $3. <laughs> Like, boys, we all work here. We all know how the job market is right now. They are not trying to pay you anything. So this man, rightfully, is angry he isn't getting his 1400 bucks. That's rent right there. That's rent money. That's at least half of rent money in, like, 90% of the states in America. And then on top of that, the Mustang guy wanted to start having a smart mouth. Instead of him just paying up the money, he wanted to have a smart mouth. So uh, he he had to pay for that. And I'm going to be honest, he, he had to pay for this smart mouth. Later. One hour later. It works. So you let me know how to open you this one. Oh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Now, obviously, Green Sweatshirt guy, he he's actually pissed now. All right. He, he Obviously, as you guys can see, he's like, he's ready to fight. All right. But Mustang guy. Even though he's taller, he got weight on him. For some reason, he don't want to fight. I don't know how you going to, A, not pay a, a significant amount of money. And then be like, no, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. He's like, bro, you came out here illegally street raced. <laughs> then on top of that, didn't want to pay up after, like, lowering the pot by, like, 3K or 4K. Then on top of that, you telling me you don't want to fight? Brother. Brother. <laughs> this life is not for you stop doing these races like this should be a wake-up moment for it never do another race again you cannot race because a you your car ain't as fast as the co6 i'm assuming or you just wasn't trying to hit the gas like you like what if the cop was behind me i don't know when to on top of that you don't pay up you how the hell you gonna race for money and then as soon as you lose you make up every excuse like my god i'm sorry he deserved it i'm sorry you got a man up you got a man up we can all be like assault is bad you shouldn't assault people yeah but also, this man got a man up. You can't be out here doing street races for pretty significant amount of money. Like, 1400 bucks still is not nothing to scoff at. That's a good amount of money in a day. And then be like, no, I don't want to pay up. 
because your camera froze, so there's no evidence you actually won. It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Everyone saw you lose. You're not even trying to say you won. And you're just sitting here saying, I don't know, man. I don't want to pay you up unless you get the camera to work. Like, yeah, I would slap you there too. Like, my guy, what is wrong with you? And then on top of that, it seems like uh, this actually happened before. They essentially raced before. And I guess this guy put out this same move last time because a uh, green sweatshirt guy was like, bro, you're doing it again. We did this last time. The GoPro doesn't work. What do you want me to do? Everyone saw me won. $10,000 race, bro. I tried to pay I thought I was buying some out for nothing. You're doing the same shit. Bro, bro, I'm not no, f***ing going to punch work. you or nothing, bro, but I'm on it my phone work. and people ran it. I felt people in my pockets, bro. Put yourself bro, in your pocket. No. Yeah. Good. 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 You in your pockets. Yo, hand in your pockets. Look at you. Big ass chance. He's trying to f***ing hold my f***ing pants up. He ain't going nowhere, bro. He ain't going nowhere until we get paid, bro. Niggas, be what you're paying for. Bro, I'm not lying. I had it in my pocket, bro. I'm not you are lying, bro. Oh my god. Bro, it's just not in my fucking pocket. Nobody went in your pocket. Get so, this nigga like, like, come on. Bro. Nothing came out your pocket, bro. Bro, you can I know. This I is the second time, pocket, bro. I thought yeah. someone in my pocket. When have I never not paid you when you beat me? Bro, I know, bro. Did I never not pay any of you? I fucking pay when I lose. This is the second time you did this. You did this way more money. And I thought I was tripping. You did this again, bro. Again. Bro, what the Try to fucking pay you, bro. bro people, I'm telling people in my pocket, bro. I don't have you the know money. I beat you, bro. I don't have it's the money. It's a fucking street race, bro. Bro, I, bro, I'm, hey, bro, I'm telling you, I, good, had, I had the money. money. I had the money. Shut the fuck up. It's seventeen hundred dollars. Bro, I, it's fucking nothing to me. Yeah, Can you is really? Is it a bro, I'm trying to mind grasping what's wrong. Bro, do we give a fuck, bro? So yeah, this guy is legitimately just trash. All right, don't do this to anyone, boys. Especially with a very significant amount of money because from what Green Shirt Shirt guy was saying, it was a 10K pop from everyone betting on it. And obviously you don't get the full 10K. But also like, if the guy doesn't put the other 1400 bucks in that's also uh lowering the pot so yeah the man is crashing out for a very good reason it was a pretty big pot that he was supposed to win and he already said that he has paid this guy whenever he lost before but for some reason the guy can't pay up whenever he loses this is the second time he did it <laughs> so i'm just sitting here like my guy if you were racing against the guy right you lost once you didn't pay up he was like you know what next time give me next time you race again you win, he's like, all right, man, I'm paying up, here's your money. And then again, you race him and you're just sitting there like, I don't know where the money is, man. Yeah, yeah, you deserve that slap. You deserve it, you deserve it, 100%. I don't care, I don't care if everyone's like, straight, that's assault. I don't care, you need a man up. You need a man up. If you gonna be out here doing street races and then you're gonna cry that, I don't have money no more because he handed it all to his friend. <laughs> He literally handed the money off to his friend, which I'm assuming he just ran away with the money. He's like, oh, oh, Lee, <laughs> save my $1,400. And then say, someone was in my pockets. I, I felt someone gripped in uh, all up on my meat. Like, then you, you deserve to slap. All right. In everyone's opinion, let's all be honest here. You deserve to get slapped. At least one gets slapped. There was a, another part, a choking part. I don't know if I can show that. I don't know how Coyotes showed that. There was a part. It was bad. All right. I don't know if I can show the choking part. Go watch Coyote Mar video if you want to see that. Actually, you can. He deleted it. So, uh, boys, I'm definitely going to have to censor this video because uh, Coyote Mar had to delete that video. It got pretty bad. But, yeah, like, I'm going to be honest here. It was absolute garbage, all right? You can't be like that. You can't be like, whenever I win, I expect you to pay up. Whenever I lose, oh, man, you see? The GoPro froze. Oh, man. The money. Where did the money go? <laughs> I just had it in my hands. I was gonna hand it to you. Just like how Hezbollah is handing Hassan money to be their propaganda mouth. Click this video right here to see how bad Hassan is getting. But other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you all tomorrow.